everyone. This is Freda from the DJI team. So we're here at the Intergeo 2025 event in Frankfurt, and we're at the DJI Enterprise booth. So let's take a look at the DJI's new product and solutions. So first, I would like to introduce a little bit about the DJI Dock 3, our latest drone-in-the-box solution. What does that mean? Technically speaking, you don't need a pilot to go to the side and fly the drone. Instead, you just put this box at your job site, and then when you connect it to the power and internet, the dock can be remotely managed and also the operations can be done remotely from our cloud platform. The software is called the DJI Flight Hub 2. You can see we can show the live video streaming here. You can see uh, monitor the flight progress. And of course, you can plan the flight paths, the flight routes, and also you can view the media files. What's even better is like not only to visualize the data, but also you can do measurements right now on Flight Hub 2 as well. That's our latest functionality. There is an analyzer module in Flight Hub 2 that makes it possible to measure, for example, the volumes. You can do a cross-section and see what's the slope. And also you can measure the distance, the area size, and also you can compare what are the changes between two certain times. So you can see how much earthworks have been moved and how much cut and fills you still have to done in comparison to the design files. So all that has become possible with the DJI Dock 3 and Fly Hub 2. For the Dock 3, we are also providing a Matrix 4D series combo. So for this drone, it can be also fly manually with a remote controller. And you can see on, on top of it, we have an obstacle sensing LiDAR that can work with the Matrix 4D series drone. And uh, here, this is our latest generation of the small compact size drone, the Matrix 4E series, which is also a go-to option for portable surveying and mapping. Here, we're showcasing our DJI's latest flagship drone platform. It's called the Matrix 400. Uh, it provides a maximally 59 minutes flight time, even with a payload. And on top of the drone, you can see that we have a obstacle sensing LiDAR system, which can make it bypass the obstacles and even power lines automatically. It is waterproof and also able to handle maximally six kilograms payload capacity. So for the M400, we're providing multiple payload options. So from DJI side, we provide the DJI P1. It's a 45 megapixel photogrammetry sensor. Working with the DJI Terra, you can create uh, also mosaics and also 3D mesh models. And for the DJI L2, it's our LiDAR and RGB integrated system. And also, it's possible to mount third-party sensors or payloads with it. For example, we're showing some uh, examples here. To work with the DJI surveying products, we also provide the D DJI DRTK3 GNSS station. So you can use it to collect the GCPs or the checkpoints coordinates. But on the other hand, it can also work as a relay station for the M400 or for the smaller drones, providing an even extended transmission range. We're also having the more portable solution for surveying. So here is our latest version, Matrix 4 series. And this is a drone. And you can see on top of it, we're also providing an accessory. It's called the Manifold 3 that can work with the Matrix 4. So, in combination with the Manifold 3, you, we actually provide a new function called the Smart 3D Explorer. So which means like if you want to create a really highly detailed 3D model for a certain object like a building or architecture, you don't need to really fly it manually. But if you frame an area and then the drone can autonomously explore this area and then creating a detailed flight routes on the pilot app and then you can create a really highly detailed millimeter level GSC 3D model for it. And here we also have the even smaller Mavic 3 Enterprise C1 version. Compared with the previous Mavic 3 Enterprise, it has a smaller battery. Even with an RTK module, the overall weight of the system is lower than 900 grams weight. And it is also C1 certified. So making it possible to fly it easier in the urban situations. 
Apart from the hardware, the drones and payloads were also providing software solutions that can work with the DJI drones. So DJI Terra is our photogrammetry data processing and also LiDAR data processing software. You can use it to create 2D uh, ortho, 3D mesh, and also the LiDAR point cloud data. It can also process multispectral data as well. This is a model of a substation. What you can see is like a lot of details and also even the very thin structures such as the lines and the components, the insulators have been represented in a very detailed way, all thanks to our latest feature called Gaussian splatting. It's actually a slightly different technique compared with the conventional photogrammetry and uh, making all the visualization effects more pleasing and uh, showing the detailed thing structures in a better way. So DJI Modify is our model editing software. So you can use it to beautify the 3D mesh models. For example, removing the moving objects, make the water surface look better, and also to fix the empty holes on the mesh models. On the other hand, you can also use it to adjust the point cloud data. For example, do manual point cloud classification, removing the floating points, the noise, and do other adjustments on it. Okay, that's pretty much for all the new products of DJ Enterprise at Intergeo. Stay tuned for our later updates. Thank you.